Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to be swatching the Kylie Jenner lip kit. I received these probably like two weeks ago but I've been waiting to do a video on them. I haven't like opened them. Well I've only opened one just to smell it and it smells so good. It sounds really weird of me but... <laughs> so I'm gonna do swatch the Kylie lip kits today. So I have... Dolce K, Posy K, True Brown K, Candy K, 22, and Mary Jo K. So I'm going to do all of them today. <sighs> to start though, which one am I going to start with? I'll start with Dolce K. I love the packaging on the Kylie lip kits. I don't know why, I just really do like it. So it comes in these boxes with a little separator between the lip liner and the lipstick. So we'll put the lipstick on, oh sorry, the lip liner on first. Just going to bring my mirror down. Oh, it's really creamy. Um, my mirror's just probably going to be in the road a bit. Just going to how it's going to be. I'm just going to get a tissue and just get some of this lip balm off. It's an oil based lip balm so just dab that off a bit. I'm so bad at lining my lips. It always looks so stupid. in a little bit. So that's the lip liner and the lipstick. I absolutely love the smell of these. I don't know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like sweet lollies. So, extremely dodgy application as well. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. So, this is... Hang on a second. This is Dolce K. I'll show you a close-up in a moment. Oh, dry already. So, this is Dolce. I'll zoom you in so much easier. And like I said, excuse the application, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a dark nude, especially on my skin. It's a dark nude. So that's what that one looks like. So the next colour I'll be doing is Posy K. Do the lip liner. Oh. You can't even see me putting it on. It's too difficult. Hang on, let me get this mirror. See how this goes. Making mistakes I know what to place. This is Posy K. I 
I'm really bad at application, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a, quite a dark pink. Like, it's certainly not vibrant, but it's, it's dark. I don't know how to explain it. I've got some serious application dodginess. Oh, it's all over the place. It's like unfixable, seriously. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so the next colour is 22. Oops. It's actually it's quite a nice colour. I don't think I'd like it because it was orange, but it's actually not too bad. I mean, I probably wouldn't wear it on a daily basis, but it looks alright. Just zoom you in. It's quite nice. Okay, so the next one is going to be Mary Jo K. It's quite a dark lip liner. The packaging, like that colour at the end looks quite dark, but it comes out quite... It almost looks pinkish. The lip liner almost looks like pink. Yeah, the lip liner and the colour of the lipstick are quite different in this one. Now this is the extreme dodge application. Holy shit. It's tragic. That's gonna have to do. That was oh, so bad. Oh my god. I need to learn how to do this properly. I don't know why I'm so bad. Now I can't get these things back in. And I've got it on the wrong side. There we go. So I'll zoom you in on this one. It's probably the worst I've ever done. Um, but the lip liner was quite different to the actual lipstick colour. But they still... Like, you pretty much go over the lip liner anyway, but it still looks nice. <laughs> the worst part about swatching is trying to get it off after. It's so difficult, especially when they're liquid lipsticks, like matte liquid lipsticks. They dry onto your lips. And then seconds, and it's so irritating, and you ruin the rest of your makeup trying to get it off. I look like a clown. It's ridiculous. Try to be so careful, but it's red for God's sake. Like, how do you be careful with that?
And then you gotta put concealer on your lips. And then rub it all in. The foundation, or like the makeup around my lips, is getting so cakey. So how to do this? I don't know, one, two, three, four times already. Oh, excuse me. Then I have to get powder and powder it down. And then you're finally done and ready for the next lip colour. So next is going to be True Brown K, True Brown K. I'm not sure how this one's going to look on me. Because dark lipsticks don't always look that nice on me. I don't know why my, I line my lips so well sometimes and other times it looks like absolute crap. I mean the outside, not the inside. So the inside looks crap. Okay. I really can't apply lipstick. Just went everywhere again. With dark lipstick, you have to be so careful to do the inner rim of your lips because if you don't and you smile then all you'll see is your skin glow this one does go a bit patchy I heard that it does go on a bit patchy and I do agree with that but I don't know if it's because I'm rubbing my lips together or I just haven't put enough on. I'm not sure. I should probably stop rubbing my lips together to see how it goes. Okay, I think it's because I'm rubbing my lips together. When it's not fully dry and it's taking it off. And it's getting in my mouth a bit. It's not very tasty. Should try and my lips dry without moving them. <laughs> so difficult. I'll zoom you in while they're drying. Oh, I'm the worst application. But yeah, I'm not overly fussed on this colour. I don't like the dark darkness against my skin tone. I suppose I'd be good with some looks, but just not liking it today. And I got lipstick on the inside of my mouth. Yum. Okay, so the last one that I have is Candy K. I kept a neutral to last so that I could wear it out and not have to take it off again. Okay, so let's go. Just dab my lips off again. I just put lip balm on them because they're getting dry. Oh, you can't even see any. Still can't see me, I'm going well. I feel like this shade is a lot creamier than the other ones. Excuse the application once again. Yeah, this shade feels so much creamier. I like it a lot better. It's 
much slower in drying as well, but maybe that's because I put a lot more on. I'm not 100% sure, but I like this colour and I'm going to be wearing this one for the rest of the day. I probably will get most of the use out of the nude colours just because I'm not a bold person, so. But yeah, that is my Kylie Jenner lip swatch video. I really love them. I mean, like, I wouldn't wear all the colours on a regular basis, but they are really nice. They're so nice. And yeah, I do like them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video will help when you purchase your Kylie lip kits. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I appreciate it so much. I've got lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, I appreciate you watching the video. If you ever recreate any of my videos and you want to tag me, tag me at Kelbaby on Instagram and Twitter or hashtag Kelbaby Makeup. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.